Hello, Recapped Mystery here. Today, I'm going to explain a crime, romance, thriller, film, dangerous. Watch out and take care. The film begins with Dylan Forrester receiving a letter from his brother. As he reads the letter, we find that his brother is on an island, which he describes as a truly beautiful place. His brother also asks him to visit the island. Dylan receives another letter the next day. This letter isn't as enjoyable as the last one. Dylan is devastated to learn that his sibling is no longer alive. As he reads the letter, he gets the feeling that someone else is in his flat he checks, and a man attacks him. Dylan is a sociopath and former assassin who is also a very deadly man. The next thing you know, the FBI is raiding his residence, and while they check around, one of the officers says, got something. They come to a man who has been bound with his hands above his head. The man is almost comatose and appears to have been severely tormented. This is the man that came earlier to murder Dylan. The police discover his antidepressant medications, which were given by Dr. Alderwood. They now know who his doctor is, and they plan to track him down and try to obtain information on Dylan from him. The cops rush over to the doctor and ask him if he knows Dylan. The doctor informs them that he knows nothing about the individual and that if they wish to probe him again, they must first obtain permission from the court. The cop informs him that they won't need to do that since they'll just put Dylan in jail because they'll capture him soon. The police also learn that Dylan's brother has recently died, so they believe Dylan is on the island and intend to raid it. It turns out to be correct, as Dylan makes his way to the island where he discovers his brother's lifeless body and attempts to make sense of things. When his mother arrives, he attempts to talk to her, but she is too upset at him. His grandmother, Linda Forrester despises him because of his genuine nature. She walks out of the room without even speaking to him. This is when another female approaches Dylan, who is unable to take his gaze away from his dead sibling. She feels bad for him and walks over to the bar where Linda is drinking and tells her that what she did out there with her son was wrong. Linda gets angry and asks her if she has forgotten all the trouble their family had to go through just because of Dylan. The police used to raid their house again and again because he is nothing but a dangerous criminal. Dylan's late brother's pals arrive, and when one asks the other if this is Dylan, the other confirms it. Dylan phones his doctor and informs him that he was informed that once he meets his family, everyone will welcome him with wide arms. But this has not been the case, as they refuse to even see his face. The doctor, on the other hand, tells him to keep trying to get his mother to talk to him, and he also asks him if he is hiding anything from him, to which Dylan responds that he is not. Meanwhile, Agent Shaughnessy has been trying to find Dylan for evading parole because he believes he is too dangerous. Sheriff McCoy discovers Dylan's true identity and what he is capable of. Dylan is in the room with his family, and he tries to communicate with them, telling them that he is not the same man he once was, and that he has been seeing a psychiatrist. Because the sheriff has discovered that the man is a wanted fugitive, he approaches him from behind and arrests him at gunpoint. McCoy arrests him and imprisons him in the island's bunker. The sheriff informs him that he has already notified the police, and that they will arrive soon. This occurs when an outside noise is heard. Sheriff believes it is the cops, and he asks a female named Susan to keep a watch on Dylan. If he makes a move, he tells the female to shoot him immediately away. As McCoy goes outside to check, he notices a large crowd and questions why they have come in such great numbers merely to apprehend a single man. It turns out that it was not the police. Cole, a fixer, has arrived on the island with his crew of mercenaries. When McCoy points his rifle at him and demands the truth, Cole's men shoot him dead. Dylan hears the gunshot and immediately realizes that something is awry. He asks the girl to let him go because things appear to be out of hand. The girl, on the other hand, states that she will not do so. She eventually agrees to let him after some back and forth. The crew then murders another man who walks out to see what's going on. They then proceed to Dylan's bedroom. They view his pictures and remember a quarrel they previously had with him. One of the men claims to be here for his brother's burial. Cole then tells his troops that whomever is able to stop Dylan will be richly rewarded. Dylan is now inside his house he asks a family member how to secure the doors and locks all the doors. 
When the crew notices that all of the house's doors and windows have been shut, they begin making preparations for how to enter the residence. Dylan's mother advises him to escape because they are only there to kill him. Dylan informs them that they are there for another reason, but that he will go if they so desire. His late brother's wife approaches him and inquires whether he intends to leave. Dylan agrees and asks if she might tell him how his brother died. She tells that he was attempting to rebuild the lighthouse when he fell over and died. She then shows him a path out the back door. Dylan's family begins to plan how to inform Cole's crew that he is no longer present. Dylan, on the other hand, goes to the shore and notices that some of the crew members are removing a machine from the boat. Meanwhile, Dylan's family hangs a large billboard on the wall that reads, Dylan is gone. When a crew member recognizes Dylan, they immediately begin firing at him. He just manages to run to a boat and escape the attack. They believe Dylan has left and that there is no one standing in their way. But this does not turn out to be the case, as Dylan returns to the island from the other side without them noticing. Dylan then phones his doctor, who inquires whether he is still with his family, but he responds that he is not. He does, however, have a strong intuition that his family is in danger, and he feels compelled to assist them. The doctor encourages him to stay true to himself and the scene switches to show Cole's crew digging the land in search of anything on the island. The team members then approach the house, and one of them says that if the family is willing to assist them in finding what he came for, they can strike a deal. The family then debates whether they should agree with Cole. When the family realizes that they are not here for Dylan because he has already left, their mother tells them that they must figure out what they need if not Dylan. Meanwhile, Agent Shaughnessy has been searching for Dylan and asks her squad if they have discovered anything. The agent then intends to raid the island the next day. Cole's men have been attempting to find something on that island for a long time, but have had no success. Frustrated, one of the guys declares, I'm sick of it, and bursts the main door of Dylan's house. Dylan also realizes that they are seeking for something concealed on this island that must be extremely valuable. Dylan climbs the roof from the backside and enters the house to help his family protect themselves when one of the men manages to get inside. Dylan kills two of Cole's crew members who attempt to harm his family. Sean, he believes, was hiding something in the house that brought Cole to the island. Cole gets fed up with all that has been going on and confronts Dylan, labeling him a coward for hiding. Dylan is no coward, and he opens the gate, bringing the two face to face. Cole begins shooting at Dylan after killing a man on the lighthouse, and he barely makes it back inside his house. Cole maintains that no one on the island is important to him and that he is just interested in what is on the island. Dylan and the survivors discover a secret passage created by Sean. Dylan realizes Sean joined with Cole to purchase the island, believing there is something important on it. When the family penetrates the channel, they uncover a Japanese submarine with Yamashita gold seized during Wii. The cops also discover that two high-profile criminals are currently on the island. Cole's mercenaries discover the secret hideaway, and a shootout ensues. Dylan phones his doctor and asks if he can be his old self again. The doctor realizes he is in a life-or-death scenario and tells him to do whatever it takes to rescue himself and his family. Pike and Dylan use one of the submarine's deck weapons to strike back against the mercenaries. Cole threatens Linda with a gun and compels Dylan to assist him in stealing the gold. Pike attempts to use the deck gun to kill Cole, but Cole kills him instead. Dylan refuses to assist Cole and tosses the gold he attempted to steal into the ocean. Agent Shaughnessy ambushes them, and Cole shoots and injures him. Cole tries to hurl Linda into the river but she is unable to do so and is left dangling from a platform. Dylan stabs Cole and throws him into the lake to save his mother. Dylan steals part of the gold as the survivors leave the island. Dylan says goodbye to Dr. Alderwood over the phone and throws his antidepressant pills into the sea. The family has reunited. The end. Please subscribe to assist the channel. Turn on notification and leave a like. Thank you for taking the time to watch. See you again soon.